leave that one open. Have you got your shopping bag? Got my shopping bag. It's full of empty bottles. Is it? Come in. No cars come in, we're all right. Hello. Hello. Oh, hola. Hola. And welcome to Between the Lakes with my Nivon. Today is the 4th of April. We're going to the supermarket, just our local supermarket, just to top up. Just got to drop off our, uh, our empty bottles. Got two plastic ones. Two plastic ones. And we've got some cardboard. Some cardboard. Doing our bit. Doing our bit for the environment. Now we've got all your empty bottles. You know, I still don't remember buying any empty bottles. <laughs> what we do with empty bottles? A bit deaf on you. Ooh, it's loud, isn't it? Last one. Governor. Governor, there's the governor. Hey. Bye bye to the governor. There's the governor. <laughs> it's a bit dark. Oh, you smashed that one. There, that's it. You see, I told you you smash it. <laughs> so, from where we are, the hyperbur is only. What do you say? 300 yards? Maybe a bit more. 400 bit more. yards, possibly. Away from us, just across there. So, yeah, this is our little route. Shall we go on the... Oh, it's a bit mucky, that Yeah, path, we'll stop on here. We'll stop on the, on the paved area. Now, then, there's a bit of work going on here. On the corner, opposite the Chinese shop. He's just delivering some cement there. We're on uh, Calais. Raphael Anton Perez. Used to live in some concrete and work is well underway. It's Pets, is it Pets Home? Pet yeah, home. Pets World. Pets World, let's just show you the sign. So, for all the dog owners and pet owners in Altos del Limonar, you've got a new Pets World. There it is. And the fair cracking on with it. I wonder what they're going to build next to it, because that's another big plot. It is a big plot, isn't it? Yeah. They fenced off one area. That's the area where they're doing the work for Pets World. You can see the Altos del Luminar strip there where all the shops and restaurants are. And uh, next to it, it's, it's all been cleared as well. The second section, which is probably twice as big as the one they're building on. Mm. And that looks as though it's been prepared for some work, but uh, there's no signs up at the moment. So that'll be interesting to see what develops there. But meanwhile, they're cracking on with these uh, foundations for the the new store, which is going to be a big one, obviously. It's taking up the whole place. Like a superstore, possibly. Pets World Superstore. There is one up there, isn't there? I think they've either just moving from up there to down here. There's one up by the big Chinese shop. Oh, is there? Yeah. They wouldn't have two that close together, would no, they? No, they're probably closing the other one down. Yeah. So we're just walking on the path now to uh, to the Hyperbur. And now we can see the work going on at La Jolla. Really are cracking on with it. So it's not a big shop, this, it's just a, a little top up shop that we do at Hyperbur. We normally do our big shop at Mercadonna. Milk, bread. What else are we getting? Well, I have got a list which is longer than what I thought we needed, which is always the case. <laughs> yeah. Have you got? Have you forgot? You forgot your list last time, didn't you? I did I haven't forgotten it this time? But when I got back, I checked, and I haven't forgotten anything. Oh, that's good, isn't it? It's a good oh, I start. Think, I think there was one thing that I'd forgotten, and I can't remember now what that oh. was. <laughs> but it wasn't. <laughs> it wasn't anything important. But you forgot what it is. I forgot what it was. It can't be important if you forgot what it was. And it's probably not on the list now, so it can't be that important, can it? So as you can see behind us, the uh, La Jolla development is cracking on and there's uh, been new works on the, what would you call it, the drainage system at the bottom. Uh, because it's at the bottom of a hill and a lot of people are concerned about the drainage, I would imagine they've just built this massive, what we, you'd call a canal running alongside the bottom of the field to take away any flood water. 
and there's some big pipes in there. It's over there and you can see the land. You can see what they've dug out. Absolutely enormous amount of uh, soil and earth have taken away from the site. And then if you look round to the uh, this side, you can see the trench they've built or dug from Hyperbury roundabout almost to La Siesta. Uh, it's enormous. A few hundred yards long, I would say. Have you got your shopping bag? Got my shopping trolley. My <coughs> shopping bag's in it. Have we got plenty of shopping bags to bring it all back with? Yeah. We aren't getting that much, though, are we? No. The road's closed here. There's Hyperbur, where we're going. And uh, this is the main Hyperbur roundabout. Plenty of parking space at the Hyperbur supermarket. And there's a garage there next door. Have you found some? I put, yeah, I've got one of those French ones. Right. So, we've had that before, haven't we? It's not, it's not bad, is it? It's OK. Yeah, I think that's what we're just finishing. Oh, we've got some of that already. Right, yeah, which way then? Go down this way, there's hardly any in. Um, cereal. Oh, milk, yeah, my favourite. Biscuits. Kitchen roll. Kitchen roll, have you got that on, have you? That's this little shop's actually turning into quite a big shop. Well, might as well get it while we're here. Um, cereal's down here, isn't it? Let's yeah. get some of my favourite... Uh... Oh, yeah, so here we go. It's this, I love this. That last one that we've just finished was from Mercadona, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. I think we get two bags of this. These biscuits, you can hardly get any biscuits that, like, are fruit in. You can get plenty that's got chocolate in. Tell you what's up here. Are you going to tell me what's up here? I'll tell you what's up here. What's up here? <laughs> Is it something that I like? Shall or we get beans? Beans. Now these are 145 here. That's very good, isn't it? At home they're 140. But if you, if you... they're euros. Yeah. So that works out at like 120. 17 percent cheaper. So they're actually no. cheaper. You'd think they'd be more expensive here, wouldn't you? Yeah. Shall we get some? Oh, yes. I think we have got a tin in the cupboard. Oh, right. We'll get an extra tin just we'll in case. We don't want to be running out of beans, do we? No. Right, we need to go get the milk. Stop. You go get the milk. Look, push the trolley, the milk's okay. out there. Hold on, we'll go. <laughs> I'm going to go get the kitchen You'll go roll. You go and get the kitchen roll, I'll get the milk. And I'll be in Scotland before you. <laughs> I bet. Have you got? I've got a UHT and a fresh pasteurised semi skin. Let's get another one of them. You got another UHT? Yeah. What is Brabus? We've got quite a lot of stuff here, haven't we? Yeah, we, we have, have, yeah. Can we all this? Yeah. This is a small shop. It's turned out to be a big shop, hasn't it? Mm. Just need the ice creams now, don't we? I want them green beans. Here we are. Oh, you found them. 91. 91 for those. The own brand in Hyperbur, as opposed to 345 branded products. We've had them before, don't we? Almendrado. We'll get them. Yeah. We, we get nearly all unbranded, don't we? Yeah. Because it's significantly cheaper. And it's just as good. Can't tell the difference. Well, I can't, anyway. Oh, we've 
the trolley. <laughs> Pull up the trolley. Pull up your trolley. I'll let you talk about the beer. Uh, well, we haven't got so much beer this time, have we? No, but that you you like that. That's a bit stronger, isn't it? Yeah, it's a very nice drink. I like that. It's the uh, Embrel. I, I like it because it's a bit malty. Mmm, it's malty, yeah. And they're 46 cents each. Yeah, oh, so they're 12, a, bit, a bit more. Five fifty-two. I think these, uh, same brand, the red ones, they're not as strong as those, they're just like nice refreshing beers. Yeah, what are they, 5.6? Which is still quite strong really when you think about it. And I think they're about 37 cents. Or 37 cents a can, and these are 46 cents a can. Yeah. But they are a nice, nice, nice little drink. So. So we've got the coffee. Um, let's see, that was 2.92 euros, and that's a 200 gram. Carrots, they're, they're a kilo, a kilo for a euro. A kilo for a euro. And we've got the iceberg lettuce at 95 cents. Mm -hmm. We've got the milk. This is the UHT milk. How much is in here? Is it a litre? They're about 95, I think. And then the pint, that's another litre, but that's a fresh. Pasteurised. That's 129 for a litre. Yeah. 129, how does that compare with UK? Well, in the UK, I get the four pinters. And from Tesco's. From Tesco's and the 145, unless they've changed yeah. since we last So went. the milk is cheaper in the UK. Yeah. So. Uh, muesli, we've got two bags of this muesli, two euros, three. Oh, I love that stuff. They're 500 grams each, yeah. we do like that. Good for you. Um, what have we got? Tuna, we've got two lots of tuna. Yeah, what's the difference? For one's in uh, sunflower oil and that other one is in like a, a brine. Salt, sort of salt thing. water. Yeah, salt. something like that. Yeah. So four, four small tins in each one. One was two sixty, and the other one was two ninety nine. Fresh bread. This was warm when I picked it up. I bet it's not warm now. No, it's not warm now. But we'll have what, that for tea. What was today. that one? It, I think it was forty two. Forty something. But the fruit bread. Where's the fruit bread? Fruit bread's here. Yeah, we like a bit of fruit bread. That was two twenty nine, but it is an eight hundred grams. Mm. I think in the UK they're like 400 grams and you you pay, you can pay up to 150 pounds. Yeah, in Tesco's. In, well, in Tesco's or where? Oh, Lidl's or wherever. Whatever. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> what else have we got? The eggs. There's the eggs. A dozen eggs. A dozen eggs at 194, medium size. Um, mandarin oranges. We've got four. One of them's quite big. Uh, one forty-eight. You chose them. Wouldn't you have got one big one and three small ones? I'd have got them all the same size because that's a whopper. <laughs> you, I thought you were right, easy peel. I like easy peelers, me. Right, where's this tin of baked beans? Baked beans. There. Now this now is beans. interesting, isn't it? Heinz baked beans. Heinz. Um, at the moment here, they're one forty-five, which I thought that'd have been more. Bearing in mind in Tesco's, the one. 40 yeah. pounds. Wow. So if you compare that 145, transferred it into yeah. pounds. And presumably these have been imported as well. Yeah. So I don't know if they're doing these as a loss leader, possibly. Because a lot of, obviously, a lot of people like Heinz beans in this area. Yeah. But that is really cheap, isn't it, I think? Yeah, normally we wouldn't go for that at home. I would get the supermarket's own. And how much would they About be? About 28 or 30 pence, something like that. Yeah. Um, mm. It's still expensive, isn't it, I suppose, for beans, but... Well, yeah, but they're a treat when we're here, because we do like And they're working beans. out cheaper than UK. Yeah. Which is amazing, really. Yeah. So what yeah. else have we got? Um, I think we've covered most of that, the biscuits. These are a euro. You get um, six, don't Two, you? four, six. They might be eight. Eight. But the fruity ones, you can't get much fruity biscuits here, so we like them. And then you chose these chocolate digestives. After yeah. saying we don't want anything chocolate. No, but we, we've had those before. We had them last time, and they taste exactly the same as McVitie's. Yeah. So whether they're made by McVitie's... Uh, 
125. Right, so 125 for the uh, digestive, chocolate digestives. I don't know, how does that compare with UK? I don't, like they're 300 grams. I don't know, because I don't really buy a lot of them. So we've got some pork. Pork loins? Cerdo, chuleta, aguja. Aguja. How many grams? Uh, that's six euros nine a kilo. And there's two. So that's two, two. euros sixty-six. And what is it? So half, a, half a kilo. There'll be. No, four hundred and thirty grams, isn't it? Four hundred and thirty-six grams. Four hundred and thirty-six grams. Mm. Um, and we've had that before. It's nice. Isn't yeah. It? Nice. And then a, a bag of Hyperbazone Altiza mate. green beans, which I like. I think they were about 92, something like that. Oh. And then we've got some potatoes, Brabus, which were just over a euro, I think. And then we've got some ice cream. Ooh. Almendrado, so they're yeah. almond. You'll notice that all the things like the luxury items we buy, well, in fact, everything really, we, we get in Hyper own brand. And it is a lot cheaper we than. We do save. They were 239. 239 for four in there. Yeah, and I think it'd be at least five for the branded ones. If you get the branded ones, yeah. And then we've got some a block of ice cream. I'll tease her again. And that was 205. 205 euros. Yeah, so all that all came to 51 and nine cents. Yeah, which to say we've got a Full pack of beers there, oh, and uh, got some mustard as well. Yeah, little normally expensive little bits. Beetroot, it's not expensive, Beetroot. is it? Lemonade. Yeah. So they're all in all, pretty good, really. Yeah, it's not bad. Um, it's not a typical shop, I don't think, is it? But it isn't for us anyway, because we were just topping up, weren't we? Yeah. Oh, we've got your sweet potatoes. Oh, I love don't sweet know if we potatoes. mentioned them. Yeah. Now you. Do pay more for your fruit and veg in the supermarkets, but if you go to the markets, you can get it a lot cheaper. Oh yeah, yeah. If you, you? Yeah. I mean, we just top up. We go to but, the markets for the fruit and veg, but you know, you do run out, don't you? So you get to yeah. the supermarket, and it's very handy to just get some there. But stuff like oranges and onions and sweet potatoes and potatoes, everything, cabbages, carrots, are cheaper in the market. You know, the Sunday market in Torrevieja. Friday. Friday market in Torrevieja. <laughs> So, on that note, the ice creams are melting. <laughs> it's time to wrap the video up. So, there's a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video, a thumbs down if you haven't enjoyed the video. Please subscribe if you haven't done so already because... It's free to subscribe. It doesn't cost you a penny. And don't forget to hit the notification bell. Three, Three two, two, one. Bing! Adios. Adios.